Prosecutors had asked for 12 years in prison, while Robert Dellinger's lawyer said that he deserved a minimum of four years behind bars. Today, Judge Lawrence McLeod sentenced Dellinger to nine years on two counts of negligent homicide and one count of second-degree assault. Prosecutors argued that Dellinger was impaired when he drove across the median of Route 89 and struck a car carrying Jason Timmons and Amanda Murphy, who was pregnant with their unborn daughter, Reagan Elizabeth. They also said this was part of a failed suicide attempt by Dellinger. Defense lawyers argued Dellinger was never suicidal and was delirious from a regimen of misprescribed drugs. The judge said the suicide evidence was questionable, but agreed that Dellinger shouldn't have been driving the day of the crash. He has uh, committed serious, significantly harmful felony offenses that have been devastating to the families of these victims and has resulted uh, in the death of two young people who had their whole lives in front of them, were expecting a child, uh, and uh, that was ended in an instant. Prosecutors said that this case sends a strong message about the dangers of drugged driving. Family members from both sides had no comment after today's sentence was imposed. Reporting live in North Haverhill, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.